Good morning, people of the earth, or the internet, or I don't know, whoever's watching this. Um, I'm Barry Hutchison, aka JD Kirk, aka various other things. I'll answer to most names, to be honest. It is early. It's Sunday, the 6th of December 2020, which means we are here in my office in Fort William to open door number six of this lovely advent calendar gifted to me by the wonderful author Alex Smith. Some people um, in comments on videos recently have said I appear ungrateful for this uh, lovely gift and that I'm, I'm less than complimentary about the smells of the candles. I think so far we've had um, floor polish, Vex vapor rub, fairy liquid, washing up liquid, um, and my own favourite, pickled onions, which is yesterday. Um, these are all lovely flavours, don't get me wrong, or aromas, whatever the fuck it's called. They're lovely smells. I'm not, I'm not criticising them for that. I have, I have a fairly basic nasal palate. Is that a thing? Um, I, so I'm not picking up the smell of fucking jojoba or whatever it is we've had. Um, so uh, I'm not I'm not detecting that I'm getting fairy liquid and pickled onions, but that is perfectly pleasant. You know I I leave those burning all day, um, and uh, I mean this is this is yesterday's Wednesday pickled onion one. You know it's half done. It was it was it was just liquid when I left yesterday. It's stronger now. It's definitely pickled onions. I don't care what they're saying about it. I don't care what they're calling it. This was surprise snowfall. A snowfall comprising entirely of a pickled onion y sort of hail, I'd imagine. Imagine a snowfall of pickled onions. What a what a terrible thing. Uh so uh, anyway, this is this was the holder that came with day one. Uh, I've still got day three's can candle wedged in there. I've no idea how to get it out. Um I broke the wick off by shoving other candles on, so unless I heat it and pour it out, what do you do? Send, let me know in the comments how you remove that. Do you just surgically cut it out? I mean, I have a big knife. If I don't have a big knife. Oh, I do. Well, like I have a small knife. I have a, I have one of them. Do I just go around the side, carve it out? Seems like a waste. Don't know. I'm just using that as the base now to put other candles on, frankly. So, uh, yeah, if you know how to get that out safely, do let me know. But today, I've, I've angled the camera slightly more so we can get a better view of the, the lovely calendar. So uh, let's find out what I'm going to be sniffing as I write this morning um, into the office nice and early so I can go home nice and early so I better crack on with this. What did I say? Day is day six. Okay, I think it was a little one, wasn't it? Day, yeah, day six was at the top here. It goes up to 25, which is always nice in an advent calendar. Um, you know, it's that thing of the countdown, because I suppose then it is 24 candles. A lot of advent calendars only do count up to Christmas Eve, including Christmas Eve, and then I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think that's the traditional thing. Advent is the period leading up to Christmas, not including Christmas itself. I think. I don't know. Uh, nothing to base that on, but wild speculation. Um, but I'm sure a teacher told me that before. That's why advent calendars don't go up to the 25th, generally. But I don't know. You know, I'm no expert. Don't get me wrong, just because I'm sitting here opening candles in a room by myself, don't think that makes me an expert on Advent and uh, Christmas. It doesn't. If you were thinking that, you're incorrect. I apologise. Anyway, door number six. Let's see, I'm excited. Are you excited? Someone posted yesterday um, that the, the candle opening videos are the highlight of their day. Really sorry to hear that, man. Um, I should have my microphone's way over there. Let me move my microphone closer. Is that better? Hopefully you can hear me better now. Uh, I mean, to do, I, I forget this most days. I forget to move the microphone most days. Okay, we're cracking in. Thumbs in. Thumbs hurt. Thumbs really hurt. There we go. There's another red one. I like the red ones. They're Yankee Candles. They like the red stuff. They like making their candles impossible to remove from the packaging. Here we go. Here we go. So we don't know what this one is because the little ones don't have their name on it. Oh, 
Do you know? I'm definitely getting a smell, which is a step up from yesterday. I don't want to describe it as, as something um, shit, no, because pe people will, will complain, they'll say I'm being ungrateful, so I don't know, it smells like um, like the sheen of an apple, or a ghost in a meadow, or um, the, uh, the, an old church floor after dark. I don't know what it smells like. It smells like lockets. No, it smells like tunes. You know, like the uh, if you're in the UK, you know those cough sweets, cherry flavored tunes, cough sweets. That's what it smells like. Um, it's quite nice. It's, it's, you know, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is my favorite one so far. It smells. I like candles that smell of food <laughs> ultimately that's what i realized yesterday so like so one of my favorite candles i have over here or to give you an idea of some of the candles i have so um i have marshmallow fluff cake almost gone which is also a, a good nickname to give to a, a loved one um i have twisted peppermint almost gone uh, and my favorite which unfortunately this is a cruel in a cruel twist of fate the, the wick knackered on it and it won't now light cherry bakewell tart so you know strong and you know to use the the, the parlance of yankee candle top note cherry bakewell middle note cherry bakewell base note cherry fucking bakewell it is it smells of cherry bakewell tarts and uh, but cruelly i can't now light it so i just have to huff this occasionally to really get the effect what i will say is um my office when you come in in the morning my office smells bloody lovely um it smells i i feel almost not um fragrant enough to be sitting in this office i feel like i, I, I lower the the um the tone of the of the aroma tone of the office by entering it so it does it smells really nice and alex smith's thoughtful gift is only helping with that so anyway red candle got some white flecks in it It looks a bit like um salami you know with the white bits in it like the fatty bits that isn't salami it looks like a big salami sausage a big, a big chunk of salami sausage which is my nickname for alex smith <laughs> alex you big chunk of salami sausage smith uh let's see what it might be before we light it yesterday's we think well we're a surprise snowfall unwrap the magic could be that let's see that's the next one on the list but the list isn't necessarily right uh, yankee candle unwrap the magic oh it pops up straight away it's in the type u unwrap the magic yankee candle i've not seen a picture that shows me the color uh oh this gift set i've still not a picture oh okay unwrap the magic is red I don't see any fatty bits in it, but let's go with it. Let's say it's Unwrap the Magic. I think Cherries is in it. It's sold out on the website, by the way, the Unwrap the Magic, so difficult to get. This, uh, no, it doesn't tell me what, the, what it smells like. This one's not. Oh, God. It's, tell, it's the gift set. It's got a box with it as well. It just tells me about the gift set. Unwrap the Magic. Oh, I think that's it. I don't think we'll have another option. I don't think it's going to tell us any more. Oh. oh no, this is disastrous. There's no data about unwrap the magic. Unwrap the magic. Christmas morning, unwrap the magic. Unwrap the magic review. Unwrap the scent. Oh hang on. Gift set. No, there's no there's nothing. Oh man. Oh unwrap the magic small jar. See if this tells us. It's a small jar and light shade to matching fuck what? What a weird gift set. Yankee candle, unwrap the magic, small jar candle, one times Yankee candle dot slash star small light shade. What the f what a weird combination. No, it's not telling us, it just says it's festive. It smells festive. Oh well. Sorry about that. I can't I can't give you the official the official description. Can't tell you what it what it is. No, it's just it only comes in a gift set, I think. Hang on, 
I admit to all that. Yeah, nothing. Can't find any information anywhere about it. If you do find out what's what Yankee Candle Unwrap the Magic is supposed to, is supposed to smell like, let me know. Um, I doubt it tunes the sweet that helps you breathe more easily. But it smells like it. So yeah, let's light it. Let's, let's end the, the video by lighting the candle as a plastic William Shatner watches us from behind. There we go. I'm, I'm learning not to get too close because I have no nasal hair left. Let it wake up. Let it breathe. Got too close. Yeah, so again, cherry, definitely a cherry thing. Slightly medicinal again, but in a good way. Yeah, it's my new favourite. What's it called? Fuck knows. Unwrap the magic. Cheers to unwrap the magic. <laughs> Down the hatch. Uh, cheers to unwrap the magic. Um, I will leave that burning as I now turn my attention to my actual job instead of pissing about talking about candles so um enjoy the rest of your sunday i shall be here tomorrow opening door number seven it's a big inn and it will have its name emblazoned across the front so we will know for sure what it is i'm excited though i'm looking forward to there's a couple mentioned in there there's like christmas cookie cannot wait cannot wait for christmas cookie snowflake cookie cannot wait anything that's got food mentioned um cinnamon stick looking forward to that oh glittering star mm. now i thought glittering star was missing but glittering star is on the list just near the bottom this may have thrown off my entire um understanding of of the order in which these are written god damn it now ah, well who knows i think it's it's whatever it's called unwrap the magic i think it's that but it smells lovely it smells of cherries and a ghost in a meadow, an old church floor, and whatever else it was that I said. The sheen of an apple. It smells of like that. Um, th that's fancy enough for Yankee Candle, I think. Anyway, I'm off. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to go and boil the kettle, get to work, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.